The Institute for the Study of War reports that Russian military forces continue to redeploy units from less prioritized areas of the front in Ukraine to the front line in the Kursk region. Commanders of the Russian 810th Marine Brigade, 155th Naval Infantry Brigade, 11th Airborne Brigade 56th VDV Regiment, and 51st Airborne Regiment reported to Russian President Vladimir Putin about combat missions on Russian territories bordering Ukraine, presumably referring to the Kursk region. Recently, Putin met with Russian Chief of the General Staff Army General Valery Gerasimov and Chief of the General Staff's Main Operations Directorate Colonel General Sergei Rudskoy. The meeting focused on discussing the Russian response to the Ukrainian invasion in the Kursk region. The report notes that the Institute for the Study of War has observed the combat actions of the 810th Marine Brigade, 155th Naval Infantry Brigade, and 11th Airborne Brigade in the Kursk region. Evidence suggests that the Russian military command recently redeployed units of the 56th Airborne Regiment from the Robotyne area in western Zaporizhia to Kursk. The Institute has not yet seen reports of the 51st Airborne Regiment's units fighting in the Kursk region. However, the fact that the commander of the 51st Airborne Regiment informed Putin alongside commanders of other units that recently redeployed to Kursk suggests that the 51st Airborne Regiment's units likely also moved to the area. Over the past months, the 51st Airborne Regiment has been fighting in the Severodonetsk direction alongside other units of the 106th Airborne Division. Given the situation, ASW suggests that Russia has also redeployed units of the 810th and 155th Naval Infantry Brigade from the front line in northern Kharkiv and likely redeployed units of the 11th Airborne Brigade from the broader Chasevyar area. The Russian military command is resisting operational pressures to redeploy forces away from its high-priority offensive effort to seize Pokrovsk in the Donetsk region and will likely continue to draw forces from lower-priority offensive operations elsewhere throughout the theater to defend in the Kursk region, the report states. Russian troops actively use drones, in particular, reconnaissance ones, in order not to shoot them down with expensive surface-to-air missiles at $100,000 apiece, the armed forces of Ukraine are forced to improvise. In search of cheaper ways to counter Russian drones, the Ukrainian military has organized mobile fleets of trucks armed with machine guns, Forbes writes. In addition to a Yak-52 training aircraft with a shotgun in the back is used for these purposes. Moreover, the military has even trained drone operators to ram Russian drones with Ukrainian ones. Ukrainian crews are now shooting down Russian drones using machine guns mounted in the nose of Mi-8 transport helicopters. This is an echo of World War II, when machine gunners in the nose of heavy bombers protected their aircraft from enemy fighters. This week, a video appeared online showing one Mi-8 armed with a cannon. In the video, the gunner, sandwiched between the pilot and co-pilot of the helicopter, fires a machine gun through the nose, blowing up a drone flying directly under the helicopter. The article says, The Mi-8 helicopter has always had the ability to carry cannons under the wing consoles. They can also be mounted on open side doors. Only a few variants were armed with cannons, under the nose, but probably any model with transparent glazing can be equipped with such weapons. The Ukrainian army has several types of Mi-8 with glazed noses in its fleet, which numbers about 75 Mi-8s and similar Mi-17s, that's about 50 pre-war helicopters minus 25 wartime losses, plus 50 new Mi-8 stroke 17s that Ukraine received from its allies. In pre-war photographs, several Ukrainian Mi-8s are shown with canvas flaps, hinting at a possible future role for the helicopters as drone hunters, the author of the article notes. The mi 8 cockpit is large enough for three crew members to sit side by side, two pilots and a gunner. It's an awkward arrangement, made even worse by the smoke that fills the cockpit with every cannon shot. But that doesn't mean an Mi-8 with a gunner on board isn't an effective drone killer. One of the earliest modern drones, Shutdown, did just that in Bosnia in the early 1990s.